Hey everybody, Bentley Compost Guy Christy here, and this is another of my Worm in Mega updates. For those of you who are just tuning in, you haven't watched any of my other uh, Mega videos, and especially those who are unfamiliar uh, with the Mega. The Mega, first of all, is just a larger version of the Worm in flow through system, so you can see, get some idea with those buckets down on the ground, the tub underneath. Uh, just the size of the system. Quite large for a home system for sure. And this particular project has basically just been me uh, producing or rather using all of the compostable food scraps that we have here at home and feeding them to this system. And we do produce quite a bit of uh, fruit and vegetable waste. So uh, certainly keeping this thing fairly well fed. And we're going to talk more about that in a minute. Those are some food mixes that I'm going to be adding today. But uh, everything has been going along well. Uh, I was fairly slow going early on just because I didn't add a lot of worms initially. But the population has uh, grown substantially. Uh, I'm just going to do my usual kind of dig around here. Now, I've been recently adding very, I mean all, all along I've been adding optimized food materials but recently very, very optimi optimized uh, in the form of cut up uh, fruits and vegetables along with, with uh, aged manure. I've, I've been able to get a, get a hold of some really, really nice aged horse manure and that is a fantastic material, sort of like the ultimate and uh, it's been getting mixed in with the uh, food waste and again I'm going to show you in a minute what I've got in the buckets there it's sort of the mix that I've been adding and the worms just go crazy for it so I'm just gonna let's see it's sort of hard for you guys probably to see what's going on here but these uh, this upper layer in this bin is just just crawling with worms. Find a better spot here. Now the funny thing is, I've actually I have my own uh, little local worm composting business up here. You know, somewhat different than uh, what's what I have on the Red Room Composting website. But anyway, I've actually been <laughs> harvesting worms. There's so many worms that get produced in a well-optimized uh, worm in system, and this worm in mega, of course, because of the size. It's even more so. And so, I mean, I literally have been taking handfuls of the uh, upper level and just kind of adding it to, to other batches of, of worms that I am harvesting for my, my customers. So, just loaded. And it's, it's actually not a bad, not a bad practice with uh, with something like a wormin or just any system where, where the worms are really, really reproducing quickly because it encourages uh, more and more population growth. And, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of, you're not going to end up with what I would call overcrowding. But uh, one thing I have noticed, and that's another thing I want to talk about today was that I was starting to find worms coming out the bottom. I, I used to have this yellow bucket down below, but uh, it didn't have much in it. And I ended up finding that the, the worms were crawling down through the hole at the bottom. I've done one harvest, as some of you may recall. I was going to do another one. I decided not to. decided to just to keep feeding and, and to do another harvest a bit later. Um, and I, I found that, that these... Uh, worms are coming down into the bucket. So what I've done is something similar to down below my Vermbin 48 system, which is to basically create a bin that's like a worm bin. It's like an open worm bin. And it uh, is like a catch bin for any worms that happen to come down. And like I said, because I am actually harvesting some worms from the system, I'm almost encouraging it in this case. I've made a really nice uh, habitat here with lots of of nicely aged horse manure with some shredded brown paper, a uh, little bit of little bit of food waste, and and this system's it's not nothing like the uh, Worman, but it actually does have a 
pretty decent little population of worms now. So this is this is going to be a nice little little bin uh, full of worms if I if I leave it here down below the system for any length of time. So as you can imagine, I'm sort of more in vermiculture mode at the moment, and that's fine with me. Just again because I am I am selling the worms, and uh, so I don't mind encouraging uh, worms down below and. And certainly not up above here, just because uh, I will be I will be harvesting quite a few of them. So that's pretty much how things are coming. Everything's looking good. The level's still going down. I'm probably going to do a bit of an overhaul before too long. I want to uh, set up a wooden stand, as I'm pretty sure I talked about in my last video. Um, I have a design for a wooden stand. For this system, just uh, I think it'll it'll be nicer than than this uh, PVC stand, which has been working fine. But it's it's still, you know, it's it just doesn't give the same uh, level of sturdiness that something like a wood stand would. Wood stand wood. <laughs> so now talking about the food waste before we wrap things up here. Now this, if you just sort of look at it, kind of looks like horse manure just on its own, but it does actually have a lot of food waste mixed in. This food waste, it was chopped up, it was frozen first, chopped up, and then mixed in with some shredded cardboard and with this aged manure. And it's sort of like what you would think of as kind of like the ultimate uh, food. It's very optimized, broken down. The worms are going to be all over this stuff. I actually even let it sit overnight in, in a tray before for weighing it out. And as far as the actual amount goes, I've been adding really, really heavy weights of food lately. Obviously the horse manure contributes to that. But uh, these two buckets here are about 22 pounds worth of, of food materials. And in the last three to four weeks, I've added about 80 pounds of, uh, of, of food. So a combination of, of food waste, quite a decent weight of just the food waste itself but a uh, fair, fair amount of the, the horse manure as well. So about 80 pounds, and just to give you some perspective, that's in the last three to four weeks. I started this system back in November, so I don't know if that, maybe five months, four or five months, or uh, yeah, probably five months by now. Um, and I've only added 160 pounds total since starting. Like I said, I got off to a slow start. But half of that weight of food material has gone in in the last three to four weeks. So definitely have been ramping things up quite a lot and, and the worms have been responding very, very nicely. Now obviously with a mix like this, you don't have to worry about, I mean, the only worry that I would ever have is maybe the weight. Just because if I had so, so much wet uh, waste material that it would end up just, uh, you know, burdening this, the system too much. But as far as as overfeeding, you can't overfeed with a mix that is, is this nice. Just the aged manure on its own is, is such a perfect habitat food for the worms. And then you add in some food waste, all those microbes in there and everything else. It's just, it's, it's a really, really nice mix. So I certainly don't have to worry about uh, having a big stinky bin or anything like that. But anyway, I'm not going to be able to really uh, add this material while I'm filming here. Obviously, each of these buckets weighs, you know, upwards of 10 pounds or so, so or even more than that. Um, so it's it's certainly not a one-hand job. But that's basically just kind of what where things are at now. And uh, yeah, hope you found this interesting. I'll certainly be uh, providing another update before too long.